My first guest tonight is one of the most popular performers in the entire world. He is appearing through March 25th at the Westbury Music Fair here in New York City. Uh, it's a, quite a pleasure to welcome this man. Please now greet Mr. Tom Jones. Tom! <laughs> How are you? Fine, thanks. Nice to see you. Thank you. I appreciate you being on the show. Let me, uh, you know, we, we tried to get a hold of you this afternoon to just chat a little bit about the show, and they said, well, uh, Tom's, Tom's hours are a little different. Yeah. And, and we said, well, like how different? And they said, well, he usually doesn't get in so seven in the morning. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but what are, you, what are you doing until seven in the morning? Well, um... Like, like last night. What happened last night? You, you were working, right? Yeah. Okay, what happened? Well, after, after I finished work, we come back into New York City. Mm -hmm. and, this uh, is from Westbury? From Westbury, right. right. How'd the show go? Great, thank you. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we find... You know, the great thing about New York City is it's, it's, a, it's a late city, yeah. as you know. With restaurants stay open late and discotheques go, you know, till four o'clock. So uh, we go to a restaurant, get something to eat, and then hang out in one of the discos. So by the time you, you know, by the time you wrap it all in, by the time you get to bed, it's it's generally six thirty or seven o'clock. Wow. Now, uh, <laughs> now where where did you eat last night? Uh, last night we ate in um, Maxwell's Plum. Yeah. And uh, so you finished up there about what time? Uh, four o'clock. <laughs> but that was it. It was early night last night, you see, because I knew I had to do this show today. So, <laughs> so you said four o'clock and I gotta go. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> four o'clock. All right. Well, I'm glad you're here. Um, <laughs> now, let's see. I have here a copy of the Tom Jones biography. Mm -hmm. and let me just read a little passage that caught my eye this afternoon, if we can uh, find it. Well, now, you can't do that every night, can you? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't know. You know, you could get a paper route as long as you're up that early. <laughs> but I'd Make a couple of bucks on your way home selling papers. At 7 o'clock in the morning, though, I'm in no condition to, uh, to deliver papers. Here it is right here. This is from your biography. Okay. Perspiration drips from his elbows to such an extent that the people in the front row must be prepared to be splashed. <laughs> But Jones continues to sing, and the ladies continue to swoon. Mm. Now, you, uh, you ought to get some dress shields or something. You know, just... <laughs> Sweating from your actual... Yeah, I perspire a lot, you know, when I, when I work. Yeah. So it, it just drips off my elbows, you know. Uh -huh. When you hold a microphone up like that, you I see. see. It runs down and comes off. Yeah. And if you move around, it's got it's to go. Yeah. Now, um, <laughs> now you're, you're doing more and more country music, right? Yeah, at the moment, yes. Because, uh, you know, the songs that have been sent my way lately, the better songs, I feel, have, have been country songs. Yeah. And do you, do you feel comfortable making that transition to country music? Well, I, I haven't really, um, you know, crossed over completely, because on stage, I, I do everything. You know, I yeah. do some rock and roll and rhythm and blues, all kinds of stuff. Sweat from the elbows? And everything. Yeah. <laughs> but when you go in the studio, you know, when you record, you have to take some direction. You have to know what kind of record you're going to make. You can't make a, a mishmash of different songs for an album. Right. You know? Right. Now, do you find when, you're, when you say you're doing uh, uh, performing in front of an audience that's primarily, of course, I guess you wouldn't draw primarily a country audience, like you said, but do people who hear that kind of music, do they still do the same kind of things that the, you know, I'm talking about women heaving things on stage? Uh -huh. Is there any difference in the garments you get? Uh, no. <laughs> 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 no, because I, I don't do that much country, you know, yeah. in, in the show. So, yeah. so the majority of... of uh, now, does that stuff still happen? Yes. Now, what is it? Is it true that they throw keys on stage? Yes. And, and what do you do with the keys? You can't... Well, no, you see, the, the reason that people throw things on the stage is, is in order to, to come up and get it back. Oh, I see. So, you know, it's, it's just to try and get your attention. You uh -huh. know, and then they come up to the stage and you, you hand it back. I see. Now, do they ever come back after, after the show and, and try and get something back then? Uh, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 